Hello and welcome to the video tutorial by Excelboard. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this pie chart in Excel. As you may have noticed, in this pie chart, each slice has a different radius based on the percentage it represents. The slices representing categories with large percentages have larger ADI, while the slices representing categories with small percentages have shorter ADI. I have many times come across such a pie chart in infographics and other visuals. The advantage of this pie chart is that it further emphasizes the relative importance of a particular category to the total and is useful when you want to draw attention to categories with large percentages. Also, it can be a visually nice addition to any dashboard, report or presentation. For all these reasons, I have decided to create this pie chart in Excel and share it with you. The basic idea in creating this chart is to make a separate pie chart for each category, in which only the slice representing that category is visible, set the area of each chart equal to the percentage value of its visible category, and then combine all charts together to create one single pie chart. Let's look at the steps for creating this pie chart. First, enter the data that you will use to create the pie chart. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am using the data of top 10 gold medal winning countries of the Rio 2016 Olympics. Second, calculate the percentage proportion of each country next to its count of gold medals. To calculate the percentage proportion of each country, write the following formula in the cell next to the count of the first country. Equal sign P2 divided by the sum of all counts. I will press F4 on the keyboard to make the cell references absolute. Close the bracket, multiply by 100 and press enter. Copy the formula down to the other cells below. These percentage values will be used at the sizes of the chart areas of pie charts to be created. Next, set the heights and widths of charts to be created. I will write chart area height and width here. This will be the heading. OK. Considering the largest chart area size in our example is 25.27, I set the heights of charts to 5 and write it in the next column. To find the widths of charts, divide the areas by the heights by writing the formula C2 divided by D2 in the adjacent cell and copying it down to the other cells below. To format the cells as numbers with two decimal places, click the Number Format drop-down menu in the Number group of the Home tab and select Number. Now select the data that you will use to create the pie chart. On the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Charts group, click on the Insert Pie or Donut Chart button and in the Open menu, click on the first option among the 2D pie charts. This inserts a pie chart into the worksheet. Do the following formatting changes in the chart. Remove the white outline from around the slices by clicking on the pie and on the Format tab under Chart Tools, choosing No Outline in the Shape Outline drop-down menu. Make the chart area transparent by clicking on the chart and again on the Format tab changing the Shape field to No field and the Shape Outline to No Outline for the chart area. Next, remove the chart title by clicking on the Chart Elements button and unticking the Chart Title option in the Chart Elements menu. Also, change the legend position to the right. To do that, hover your cursor over the legend option and click on the arrow next to it. In the Open sub-menu, choose Right to place the legend at the right of the chart. As a next step, extract the legend out of the chart in order to use it later as the legend of the final chart. To do that, copy the chart and paste it as a picture by clicking the Paste drop-down menu and selecting Picture among the Paste options. To extract the legend out of the pasted image, with the image selected, click on the Format tab under Picture Tools and then click the Crop button in the Size group. Black cropping handles will appear around the image. Drag the cropping handles to crop the unwanted areas around the legend and to finish the cropping, click on any cell. Set the extracted legend aside. 
I will place it next to the chart data. I will also place the chart below the chart data. Decrease the chart size in order to make the work easy. Make 10 copies of the chart and place them side by side. 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 OK. Now we will do some changes in the first pie chart and then repeat these changes for all the other pie charts. In the first pie chart, make all the slices transparent except the slice representing United States. To do that, click on each category in the legend except United States. And on the Format tab under Chart Tools, apply No Fill to the slice representing that category. Press the right key on the keyboard to move to the next category and then press F4 to repeat the No Fill action. Alternatively, you can select each category in the legend manually and then click No Fill on the Format tab. At the end, as you see, only the slice representing United States remains visible. Add percentage as label to the visible slice. To do that, click on the visible slice to select it and then click on the Chart Elements button. In the Chart Elements menu, hover your cursor over the Data Labels option and click on the arrow next to it. In the Open sub-menu, click on More Options. This opens the Format Data Label task pane. Here, tick Percentage and untick value to show only percentage. Increase the font size of the data label and make it bold. To do that, click the Font Size drop-down menu in the Font Group of the Home tab and select Size 12. To apply bold formatting, click on the Bold button. Next, remove the legend from the chart by clicking on the Chart Elements button and unticking the Legend option in the Chart Elements menu. Finally, change the area of the chart by clicking on the Format tab under Chart Tools and setting the height and width for the chart in the size group based on previous calculations. So, for the first chart in which only the slice representing United States is visible, the height should be 5 and the width should be 5.05. As you see, the chart area increased. Repeat the changes done in the first pie chart for every chart. In the second pie chart, leave the slice representing Great Britain visible while making the other slices transparent. In the third pie chart, leave the slice representing China visible while making the others transparent and so on. Also, repeat all the formatting changes done in the first pie chart, such as adding percentage as label to the visible slice, increasing the font size of the data label and making it bold, removing the legend, and changing the area of the charts based on previously set height and width for every chart as well. So, for the second chart in which only the slice representing Great Britain will be visible, the height should be 5 and the width should be 2.97. For the third chart, in which only the slice representing China will be visible, the height should be 5 and the width should be 2.86. At the end, there will be 10 pie charts, each having one visible slice, representing one distinct country. I will now pause the video to make all these changes in every chart, and then we'll do some final steps to get our chart ready. OK. Now that the sizes of all the charts were set and they were formatted accordingly, select all the charts and click on the Format tab under Drawing Tools. Click the Align drop-down menu and choose Align Center and then Align Middle to align the charts to the center and middle. Group all the charts together by clicking the Group drop-down menu and choosing Group. Finally, bring the legend next to the chart and group them together by clicking on the Format tab under Drawing Tools or Picture Tools, it doesn't matter, and choosing Group in the Group drop-down menu. 
So that's it. Our pie chart in which each slice has a different radius based on the percentage it represents is ready. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.